السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله الله تعالى بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا وصلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن استنى بسنته واهتدى بهديه إلى يوم الدين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطيع الله ورسوله 
فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن خير الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وشر الأمور محتثاتها وكل بدعة ضلالة uh, my dear respected brothers, before we begin, I wanted to uh, alert you to the fact that after the khutbah, immediately, we will have uh, a janazah prayer. And so if you're able to stay behind for a few moments uh, to pray over the deceased, we would really appreciate if you did that. As the Prophet said in the hadith, Haq al-Muslim Muslim sit, he said that every Muslim has six rights over his fellow Muslim brother or sister, and one of those rights is either mata, if he passes away, then you attend his funeral. You pray for him or her. And so if you're able to stay behind, please do so. I also want to uh, ask or humbly request, as we always do, that you turn off these electronic devices, cell phones and pagers, which have a tendency to ring at the most inopportune time and disturb us during our ibadah. And last but not least, as always, I humbly request that you open your ears, your minds and your hearts what I'm about to say. So brothers and sisters, uh, today we will continue our discussion of the paths to achieving al-yaqeen, to achieving certainty. And today we will look at the path of at-tafakkur fi ayatillah al-kawmiyyah. Thoughtful reflection upon the signs of Allah in creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, He says, إِنَّ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ لَآيَاتٍ لِأُولِي الْأَلْبَابِ الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامًا وَقُعُودًا وَعَلَى جُنُوبِهِمْ وَيَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ رَبَّنَا مَا خَلَقْتَ هَذَا بَاطِلًا سُبْحَانَكَ فَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ He says subhanahu wa ta'ala what means in the creation of the heavens and the earth and in the alternation of night and day are signs for rational thinkers. Those who remember Allah while standing, sitting, and lying on their sides, and they reflect upon the creation of the heavens and the earth, which leads them to proclaim, O oh, our Lord, you did not create this in vain. Glory be to you, so protect us from the punishment of the fire. So along these verses, he tells us, he says, La ayatin the ulil al-bab, signs for rational thinkers. Ayat, walakin leis li kulli ahad. Li ulil al-bab, signs, brothers and sisters, but not for everyone. For the rational thinkers, those people who thoughtfully reflect upon creation with open hearts and open minds. Hearts and minds free of stubborn resistance or indifference to God. When they think thoughtfully upon those signs, rather than resist or refuse, those signs guide them. They are guided by those signs to what the signs in the creation of Allah indicate. They allow themselves to be guided and they follow those signs to where they to where they lead. They reflect upon the heavens and the earth. And this reflection leads them naturally, brothers and sisters, to arrive at the truth. The truth that Allah is one. He's all powerful. He's all wise. He's all capable. And he is absolutely and exclusively worthy of our worship and servitude. They look around them and they realize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not create this world except for a meaningful purpose, for another life, for another world, wherein man will be made to answer for his deeds. Rabbana ma khalaqta hadha batilan subhanak. Oh, our Lord, you did not create this in vain. You didn't create it for nothing. That is beneath you. 
You are above doing that. Subhanak. Faqina adab al So protect us, spare us the punishment of the fire. And what does that teach us, brothers and sisters? Allah is teaching us that thoughtful reflection leads to, it produces, it yields total conviction and yaqeen. قال الشيخ الإمام عبد الرحمن بن ناصر السعدي رحمه الله تعالى عبد الرحمن بن ناصر السعدي said ومن أسباب الإيمان ودواعيه التفكر في الكون في خلق السماوات والأرض وما فيهن من المخلوقات المتنوعة والنظر في نفس الإنسان وما هو عليه من الصفات he says one of the leading sources of faith and its catalysts is thoughtful reflection upon the creation of heaven and earth and their contents. The multitude of creatures of all kinds, the makeup of human beings, and the qualities we possess. وما فيها من الحسن والانتظام والإحكام الذي يحير الألباب الدالي على الساعة إلم الله وشمول حكمته وما فيها من أصناف المنافع والنعم الكثيرة التي لا تؤد ولا تحصى الدالة على الساعة رحمة الله وجوده وبره He goes on, he says, that is a very effective catalyst for faith when we think about the world around us. Just reflect upon everything that you see. It's a very effective catalyst for faith. Because the magnificence of creation is perhaps the clearest indication of the magnificence of the Creator Himself. While also demonstrating His power and capability. Also the brilliance, perfection, orderly arrangement and precision in creation that confounds the most intellectually gifted minds is indicative of the infinite knowledge and vast wisdom of Allah. Jalla Jalaluhu wa Azuma Sultanu. Add to this all of the benefits, bounties, and blessings in creation, which are infinite in number, that serve as a clear indication of His infinite mercy, kindness, and compassion. Wa dharika kulluhu yad'u ila ta'zimi mubdi'iha wa bari'iha wa shukri wa lahji bi dhikri wa ikhlas al-dini lahu he says, all of that calls the one who thoughtfully reflects upon creation to magnify the Creator, to thank Him, to mention Him reverently, and to make Him the sole object of worship. And that is the heart and soul of true faith. الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Brothers and sisters, we are living in the age which is dubbed the age of technology. The age where every day it seems there's a breakthrough, a new technological advancement. And with each passing day, brothers and sisters, we become more and more amazed and impressed at what the human mind and stubborn effort can achieve. And what happens is, we sometimes explicitly and sometimes implicitly laud ourselves as the masters of the universe because we can make things. Because we can make things like artificial intelligence, alternative reality systems, 5G networks, and cars that can drive themselves. All of this focus on these human achievements causes us to overlook the world around us, which is far more complicated, advanced, and functional than these human discoveries. Brothers and sisters, what is happening to us is that our heads are buried so deeply in our smartphones 
that we fail to see that the one who has given us real, not artificial, real intelligence, given us a universe filled with planets, moons, and stars, which drive by themselves at amazing speeds without colliding into each other, given us this human body which consists of trillions, yes, trillions of cells capable of seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling, and processing information, millions of bits of information like that. The one who has done all of this and even more is the true master of the universe. And all we have to do is look around us, look at the world around us, and look at our own selves, and we will clearly see the truth. We will be certain of it. We will achieve al-yaqeen. هذا وصلى الله وسلم وبارك بمحمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداءك أعداء الملة والدين وانصر عبادك الموحدين يا رب العالمين اللهم من أرادنا أو أراد ديننا أو إخوان المسلمين في أي مكان بسوء فأشغله في نفسي واجعل كيده في نحري واجعل تدبيره تدمير عليه يا قوي يا عزيز اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين اللهم اشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وقوموا إلى صلاتكم حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد أقامت الصلاة قد أقامت الصلاة اللهم أكبر اللهم أكبر لا إله إلا الله Just a reminder brothers uh, make sure that you look to your left and your right and that you're online with your neighbor to your left and to your right even though we're praying with social distancing, we still have to make sure that the rows are straight. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير الموت عليهم ولا الضالين آمين القارعة ما القارعة وما أدراك ما القارعة يوم يكون الناس كالفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كالعهن المنفوش فأما من ثقلت موازينه فهو في عيشة راضية وأما من خفت موازينه فأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار حامية الله أكبر
سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله